Hi, Taurus. How are you guys? Hope you're all doing well. Taurus, this is going to be your December 2020 monthly reading. If the reading doesn't resonate for you, Taurus, definitely feel free to watch your other signs. I'm using the beautiful Thelema. And Taurus, those of you that would like to get additional live readings, I'd love to have you guys follow me on Facebook, Instagram. I'd like to get a private reading. Links to everything are right below the video. Taurus. Taurus Spirit, December 2020. Your cards are open. Seven of Cups, Four of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, <clears throat> Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, female. Wow. Queen of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, female. Wow, unbelievable. <coughs> I'm so sorry. The Empress. You guys are dealing with a lot of people. That is your, your card, Taurus. Oh my goodness. The Chariot. Sign of Cancer. And your overall energy is the Three of Cups. Wow. Why am I not? I could definitely see that here. Okay, well, the Ten of Wands. Oh, look at that. King of Swords. So some of you, there definitely could be something going on with the Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And I'm going to say this, Taurus. You have a lot of people in this reading. This month. Please excuse me. For some of you, you know, because it is Christmas time, I definitely could be celebrating family, sisters, mother. I definitely could see that travel, family coming in for the Christmas, you know, for the holiday season. I mean, Three of Cups is your overall energy for the month. You know, it is a very fun, social energy, friends. But really, because you have got, you you guys have, like, a couple of threes in this reading. Some of you are definitely in a third-party situation. And, it's listen, it, it's a general reading, Taurus. It does not necessarily have to be love. You know, like a love triangle. Because this could be with friends, family, but you're definitely dealing with a three-party situation in some way, shape, or form. And if that's the case with the Ten of Wands, some of you are absolutely starting to really feel weighed down by this situation. And with the Nine of Wands... Someone's still not backing down, not giving up, fighting. You are feeling exhausted. If this is a third-party situation, I feel like you've been dealing with this, Taurus, for a very, very, very long time. And it is because of some of you just do not... Oh, sorry. Some of you just do not want to... Or them let go 
and that's and what's very interesting is you have these two queens here the queen of swords and the queen of cups so some of you are whether you're male or female you're dealing with two women if you like women there's two of them here well maybe three So, especially if you're a Taurus with air, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces in your chart, moon and, moon and, ri and rising only, you could be coming off as the Queen of Swords. We're dealing with someone that comes off as the Queen of Swords. But then you also have the Empress here. Definitely. Oh my God, Taurus. My head's spinning. An interesting reading. So, Taurus, I mean, you're in the middle of a, uh, of a love, of a, of a, of a three-party situation. If this is a love reading, you're the other woman. And then, and then, you have the Seven of Cups. So, if there's another woman, someone is definitely daydreaming, fantasizing about this woman. Queen of Swords, Queen of Swords, Nine of Wands. But then others of you might be sticking it out with someone. You know, I just, for, for some of you, I just do, do not see you letting go or them letting go. You know, they're, they're sticking it out. Because you do have the Nine of Wands, you have the Four of Pentacles. You know, this is, you know, holding back having control and ironically you do have the chariot you know here as well those of you that are that it's a third party situation I mean it's not for all of you but definitely for some of you this is this this is really out of control Or it's about control and wanting to have multiple options here in front of you with the Seven of Cups. Now, again, the, Taurus, this is either you or your partner, the person you're involved with. For some of you, female, I mean, this is definitely you. And with the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Swords, like I said, you could have water, air in your chart. You could be dealing, you know, with a couple other uh, other people here throughout the month. But I do see you celebrating with the Three of Cups because it, it is not going to be, it's not going to be a three-party situation for all of you. For some of you, I do feel like you're pregnant and in the very near future, giving birth. Over here with the chariot, definitely could be traveling with the Ten of Cups, family, your friends. Like I said, over the holiday, you know, coming to see you. Because there, for some of you, family, definitely for for some of you is very important. And those of you that are giving birth. I mean, absolutely con beautiful. That's congratulations. There's definitely something going on with the family. It, it is a big gathering, a big social event of some kind. Some of you are absolutely at the end of a cycle. You have the Nine of Wands, the Ten of Wands, the Ten of Cups, a couple of Tens here, the Empress starting something new. Definitely a new beginning for Taurus. 
for dealing with a cancer. If you're a Taurus with water in your chart, dealing with a cancer. That I, I feel like there, there's definitely a new beginning. If that's the case. Or, you know, you're looking at a couple of different paths that you could choose to go down. But it is the ultimate victory and success card. So I feel like some of you are just feeling determined, in control, looking at all your options. Maybe you're sick and tired of dealing with something or someone. The Nine of Wands, Queen of Swords. You definitely could, some of you could be getting ready to cut someone out. But for, for a lot of you, I do feel like a cycle is ending and you are starting something new. And I feel like with the Chariot and the Seven of Cups, you know, someone's looking at these choices and narrowing it down. A decision will be made. It just depends on which Taurus you are. Some of you are absolutely dealing with a lot of people this month. Others of you definitely having a baby. I mean, if that's the case, again, congratulations. Family coming together, celebrating. Really celebrating something amazing, which would be the baby, Christmas, New Year's. And with the chariot, the ultimate victory and success card. I mean, but I also feel too, if, if you're, if you are a Taurus dealing with a cancer and you're the other woman and they've been involved, the ultimate victory is with you. Okay. Queen of the moon, Oracle cards for you and guardian angel tarot. For additional guidance, clarification, I like to see if the same, the same card, is, you know, is going to come out. Queen of, uh, Queen of the Moon. Guardian Angel Tarot. Assessing, wow. Seven of Cups. You really are. Amazing. You're definitely looking at those options. Options. That's so interesting. You know, so those of you that are dealing with multiple friendships, multiple people, even something with friends, you might you might even be assessing your friendships, assessing the situation. For others of you, I feel like you are looking at choices, options. And I do strongly feel like you will make the right decision. It is a very nice reading no matter how you how you look at it or resonate with it really. Wow, interesting. 6 of cups. Wow. Memories could fill your heart with many emotions. It's important to remember your past accurately without seeing it as better or worse than it was. 
people you used to know may return to your life unexpectedly. Children could be an important issue or you may need to reconnect with your own inner child. Some of you are definitely giving birth. Someone's having a baby. Okay, <laughs> Taurus. If you are the other woman... I mean, look at you. I mean, you're absolutely beautiful. Stunning. Everybody wants the Empress. If you're waiting on someone... They're definitely coming. I think they're definitely watching you. Interesting. But it's beautiful. Or well, you're doing this. Someone, a, a cancer definitely could be coming to see you. I definitely could see that. If you're waiting on a cancer, he's coming. Definitely. What a great reading, Taurus. If you are not subscribed to my channel, Taurus, please be sure to subscribe. I will see you guys back here shortly with your love monthlies. Bye.